y'all, it's Mrs. Pink Diamonds, and I have a real quick drugstore haul for y'all today. I was at home the other day, and my husband came home, and all these kids have been driving me crazy. So, I was like, I gotta get out of this house and just go look around. And I ran to Walgreens, and I found some things I wanted to try. So, the first thing I saw was this Aussie 7-in-1 dry shampoo, total, total miracle collection. And I have the hardest time with dry shampoo. My hair is not the kind of hair where you can wash it and it's good for three days. I don't have that hair. I wish I had that hair. But it doesn't get real super greasy or anything, but it's greasy enough where you can notice it and it drives me absolutely insane. I cannot find a dry shampoo, high end, low end, whatever. I found like one that kind of works. So I'm still on the hunt. Surprisingly, I've never tried the Batiste, and that seems to be the one everybody really likes. I just never remember to pick it up. But I saw this one and picked it up, so I will let y'all know how that goes. Okay, so I got a lot, a lot of Wet n Wild things that are new. Um, they say new. It's been a long time since I bought makeup because I was trying to be a good girl. So I bought a lot of that, so that I'll go with everything else first. First, I picked up these three Jordana lipsticks. They're the new modern matte lipsticks. Um, I only have three. I mean, I've only ever bought the Twist and Shine um, products from Jordana. And I really, really like those. So I bought these. I thought I would um, try them out and see how they work. Let me swatch them on here real quick. So, here are the three colors I got. The top one is Mad It Girl. And then the middle one is Matte Popular. And the last one is Matte Tease. And they're all very pretty, wearable lipsticks. Everybody could wear probably. They all look like they'd be really good for um, a lot of skin tones. And that was just one swatch. I think I'm going to review each set of, you know, what I have. And there'll be probably lip swatches. Um, but I think I will do that. Um, and then the next lip products I got are actually the, I have the Rimmel London Show Offs and the lacquers. But I saw the matte lip velvet, so I picked up two of those. Now I got this orange color, and I'm totally scared to death of orange lip products. But now that my hair is lighter and my skin tone has kind of darkened up a little bit, I thought I would try it because it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. So that is what that one looks like. It's a really orange on camera. It's not quite that orange in person. Um, it's called Orangeology. So I will test it out and let you know. I think that would be pretty though with the white, right color, eye color and everything. It would be good. And then I got this other one and it is called Meteoric, Meteoric Matte. And this is a darker color and it's a really pretty. That's what that one looks like. So two totally different colors and one out of my comfort zone a little bit. But I really wanted to try something new. So I bought those. And we will see how matte they actually dry. Again, I'll probably do a video. And then two more Rimmel London lip products. Can you tell I like lip products? Um, I bought, and these are called, this one, come on, Little Minx. And this one is called a pucker up and let me swatch those real quick okay so this is little minks really pretty shiny and then this one is a pucker up oh this one is a not very pigmented and has a lot of shimmer in it so that's kind of one of those run out the door kind of colors I think um, trying to find a cloth, wipe all that off with. Yeah, so those are the products, lip products I got. I got a couple more, but they are all from the Wet n Wild Fergie, so I was just going to do those separate. So yeah, I will do uh, separate videos on those and let you know what I think. So, next I got were these Fergie Wet n Wild Vel Velvet Lip Matte Colors. 
Um, two, again, out of my comfort zone a little bit. And then one kind of neutral color. Um, this one is Creamsicle Kitty. Ooh. What a that is that one. That's pretty. That's not, it looks a lot different than in the packaging. This one is the standout. That's that lilac purple color. They're very creamy, the way they go on my hand at least. And this one is pinky candy. That one right there. So that one's, like I said, a little bit more neutral. Um... I think with the Wet n Wild stuff, I am going to do one whole video on everything that I've got today of like actual swatches and reviews. Um, the next thing I got, I own tons and tons of nail polish. I love nail polish, but lately I haven't bought any because I've been trying to be a good girl. Um, but I saw this one, Haze of Love, and these Mega Lasts are one of my favorite nail polishes in the entire world. Um, but this is a really pretty color that I don't really think I have. So I picked it up and yeah, I will test that out. And then the next thing I got were face products and I'm a full coverage foundation kind of girl. I just have so much redness and everything that I just really like full coverage. I don't really buy light foundation and medium very rarely at the drugstore. Um, cause the foundation kind of lasts a long time for me cause I don't wear it every day. Um, but I have found one BB cream before that I liked and it was the Physician's Formula and the white packaging. I really liked that one. I have just never picked it up again and all the samples of high end, low end, everything that I've gotten, I've never really found one I liked. Well, I saw this one. It's again the Wet n Wild Fergie BB cream, 8 in 1, SPF 15 and I thought I would try it out. You know, it can't hurt and it's so cheap. I think everything I got was $5 and under. But this one seems to be a pretty good, where'd it go? So you can't even see, pretty good match. And I just want something I could throw on and go out the door. Because we live in Florida, it is so freaking hot. So sometimes I don't want full coverage foundation. So I just, that's something I can throw on and get out the door. Next was this Come Correct Concealer. Uh, again, Fergie Collection for Wet n Wild. And I have actually been using the same concealer that I'm actually really like in love with. Uh, but, I, you know, always can try something new. I just tore apart this packaging. I can't get it open. So it's just, and it kind of looks like it cosmetics, uh, packaging a little bit. But I will try this and see if it's good for just your face or if it's a good under eye concealer. I got this in, um, medium, oh, medium golden. Did I mean to pick up medium golden? I don't think I meant to pick up medium golden. Uh oh, this might be just a face concealer because I like a lighter, I don't know, it's not, I don't know. That might just, we'll see, we'll see, it depends. Okay, almost done. So next I got three Wet n Wild blushes, uh, again all Fergie. Um, one is, uh, psh, 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 of course. Brush with Destiny, which is this pretty corally golden color. Brush with Danger, which is like the pink color. And Brush with Brilliance, which is kind of like a mix of the two. So I thought I would try those out um, and see how I like them. This one is pretty matte looking and this one's like has a little bit of sparkle and this one has a lot of sparkle so like I said I'm gonna do one whole video on just these products and uh, it will have swatches and everything this I've been looking for a green eye palette but have not wanted to spend $50 on one so I got I found this one camouflage couture and it is this really pretty it has gold and green and I think this will be really pretty the, I have my comfort zone palette and I totally kind of forgot about that one but um I am going to try this. I haven't swatched it, so I don't know how creamy or anything it is. But, like I said, new video. And the last thing I got was this shimmer palette. And this is Hollywood Boulevard. And I actually have one of these already. Um, but it's like the lightest one. And it's so pretty as a highlight. I absolutely love it. So that's why I picked this one up. But this looks really pretty. This one popped open. Let me see. It's like a pretty golden champagne color. Oh, that might be more like a blush for me. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But that is everything I got in my drugstore haul. Like I said, I have 
with just this I have so many reviews that I can do so those will be some upcoming videos with the swatches um, and I will do those soon so you can actually see from what I see everything was really creamy going on was a good color match and um, really soft so yeah, everything should work out pretty good, but like I said, I will do reviews. Let me know down below what you want to see. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and you can find me on all my social media listed below. Ask me questions, tell me what you want to see, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.